Hello, welcome back. My name is Kara Mars. I'm one of the registered dietitian at UC Health in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And today I'm gonna to give you a couple quick recipes for some snack ideas. I am always looking for things to grab maybe after a workout, before I'm going out, that three o'clock pick me up that you need when you're at work, and also for my son. I'm a mother of a nine-year-old boy. He's very active and when we get home from school, he's hungry and sometimes he's going to practice afterwards. So a lot of times I need something that is appealing to him because all of us eat with our eyes before we taste anything. So for kids especially, something that looks cool or is inviting is really important for them. So the very first thing we're gonna do is egg bites. I love these because they have vegetables in them for some fiber. They have eggs in them for good protein source. And there's also any assortment of toppings that you could use. So today, um, I have already prepared some in here. I have scrambled eggs for a muffin tin like this that has 24 little mini muffin sizes in there. I used about six scrambled eggs. I mixed in a little bit of oat milk, probably just about two tablespoons or maybe even a quarter of a cup. I have somebody in my house that can't do any dairy, so we tend to do some substitutes. And I divided them up. A little bit of a trick, I would use a large tablespoon to spoon out the egg mixture into the um, greased muffin pan. This is a pan that is nonstick, but just for a little bit of flavor and again, some of those good heart healthy fats and antioxidants, I do put a little bit of olive oil in each of the muffin tins. So I have um, the scrambled eggs in here. I'm going to add a few things. I have some chopped leeks right here. Leeks are very, very high in prebiotics and prebiotics are the food for the good bacteria in your gut. So they're great for feeding that gut bacteria. I have some little shreds of kale and I will be making another recipe that has kale leaves in it. And so I've also chopped up some of the stems that I discarded from that recipe. We're gonna use those. I'm also going to use, and I'm making everyone a little bit different. I'm gonna use some chopped orange and yellow bell pepper. Great color profile, eat your rainbow, filled with antioxidants. So we love that. And all of these things are in such small little amounts that they're gonna cook really easily in these tins. I also have some chopped turkey. This is organic deli meat, but you can use anything that you'd like. And then that just adds a little bit more of the protein profile to it and probably will make it a little bit more appealing <laughs> to my nine-year-old son. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in some of those. And then I also have here just a little bit of mozzarella to make things easy. I just chopped up some mozzarella sticks that I had. My son likes those to snack on. And so I'm gonna put one or two of the slices of that in there. And then I also have a cashew-based um, vegan cheese as well. And I found that some of these new nut-based and dairy-free cheeses really melt well. So for the person in my house that can have dairy, I'm gonna add some of that. Okay, when I scrambled the eggs, I also added an ample amount of sea salt and also black pepper in there. You really need it for the flavoring. So this is just gonna go into the oven. I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes at a preheated oven of 350 degrees. And then that's gonna come out and look like this. So we have these delicious little egg bites, which are a great snack to use for yourself or your child. Okay. Our next snack is gonna be something a little bit sweeter. So what I did here is I cut up a bunch of apples 
just a simple pink lady apple. And I'm gonna spread some of these out on a plate. What I've done is just cut them sideways. And then I just took a knife. If you have an apple core, you can do that. But I just took a knife and went around the core and I took that out. We are going to use a little bit of peanut butter. You could use almond butter. If somebody has a nut allergy in your family, then sun butter made out of sunflower seeds is a great option. And I'm just gonna go over each of the apple slices. Again, what's fun with this is that you or your child can pick their toppings. And so I think that's fun. And when you make food fun, kids really like it. When we have this, we have some great carbohydrates in the apple and good high fiber food. But we also are adding good healthy fats and protein as well because we're adding the apples. So on that, I'm gonna use, I have some cacao nibs here. So cacao nibs are bitter. They are the pure cacao bean. So for an adult, that might be great. They're super high in antioxidants. They do have caffeine in them, naturally occurring, but a little bit higher in that. And then I'm gonna use some um, semi-sweet dark chocolate chips as well for the one on my son. I am going to use some hemp hearts. If you've never used those, they are unshelled or shelled hemp seeds. And they're really high in fiber and good healthy antioxidants and um, healthy fats. On a couple of them, I might put a little bit of cinnamon as well. And there you have either a single size or you make a sandwich and you have this delicious treat that your kids are gonna love. So thank you so much for joining again and I hope that you will try these and help yourself out with some easy snack ideas. Thank you.